to the slave market. Think about it. Put yourself in that position. For many years, uh, uh, black folks work and live on a plantation in a strange land. Y'all do know what plantation is all about, amen? Yeah. Yeah. In a strange land, a place where they never lived before. Yeah. Yeah. They were on that location. It was a strange land because our homeland is Africa. Yeah. And we were slaves to the white man living in a strange land called America. Yeah. And we as black. People were captured from Africa, as I told you earlier, brought over on a slave ship. Amen. You ever watch the story of Ruth? You see that ship, what I was talking about. Amen? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And as we celebrate Black History Month, we are, we, we are being informed that some of our great black inventors who had lived in this strange land had major difference in the society of America. They made a difference. Who lived here? Can I get a witness? Yeah. They had made a difference because of their sending up their prayers. They prayed and they give God praise, God Almighty, in their hard times. Lord Chapel, let us keep on sending up our praise to God while we are living here Amen. in a strange land. Amen. I know some of you saying right now, uh, except for the fact that you are African American and you don't live in no strange land. I know somebody saying that, but I believe even if you were born in a small state like the Red Hills of Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, you are still living in a strange land. Yeah. And during our struggle of freedom, our forefathers never gave up hope on our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. They never gave up hope. Even though there were laws uh, in our land in, in America made specifically for black people. Amen. You heard about the law of segregation. Can I get a witness? Uh, we separate black people from attending a white school. Ah, right, you're looking at one right now. Can I get a witness? We went through that segregation time period. And then there they had Jim Crow law. We separate facilities like the hospital and recreation center and water fountain and then shopping stores. They separate those from black and white. Amen. I told you I'm taking y'all way back today. Yeah. There were there were signs posted, white only and color. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. But our forefathers kept on praying in the streets. In spite of the laws that were facing them. Can I get a witness? And today, I want you to know that the, that, that the black and white signs are gone. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone said, been gone too. Yeah. But I want you to know there's something that's still going on today, which we call racism. Yeah. It's still written on the heart of some people. Yeah. Well, praise the name of the Lord. That's a deadly bad boy. Oh, praise the name of racism well, was a key factor that played in our last presidential election. Yeah. Y'all are watching that? Yeah. Oh, 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 one political party tried to overturn the government and change the election result. Yeah. Just because racism. Yeah. Just because they had a man who was going to help black folks around the long way. Just because a man picked a black woman to be vice president. They didn't want that to happen. Well, praise the name of the Lord. And one year, one year ago, January 6, 2022, our election, some political leaders are still telling the big lie. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, somebody might know what the big lie is all about. You, you listen to TV, you hear somebody talk about that big lie. Yeah. They talk about who won yeah. the election. Well, praise the name of the Lord. They, they're still seeing it. I, I'm seeing it. And they, they look at us in the eye and say they were cheated. Right. Well, praise the name of the Lord. But let us keep on praying in a strange land. In spite of racism. Can I get a witness? I'm so glad. I'm so glad that God is still in control. God makes the decision of what goes on in our life. Can I get a witness? Today I'm so exalting you to keep on praying. 
in a strange land. If you want to be blessed, God is still answering prayer. Yeah. Many night our mother and father prayed for freedom, for food, prayed for shelter. Help my boy, help my son. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Most of us, you know, we had brothers and sisters, about nine of us in one house. Yeah. Only about two bedrooms. Right. Somebody might know what I'm talking about. Somebody might know what I'm talking about. Can I get a witness? You have four sleeping at the head and five at the foot. Can you get a witness? But they all got in there. Yeah. Your brother's foot was in your mouth and nose, but you kept on sleeping. Yeah. No matter what goes on. My brother and sister, I want you to know that it had not been for the Lord on our side. Yeah. Where will we be today? Yeah. It is God's grace and God's mercy that brought us this far. And I want you to know God's grace and mercy is going to lead us on. Yeah. I believe, I believe many, many times slain prayed in the form of songs. Yeah. Ah, the white man wouldn't allow them to get together and talk to each other. They had to communicate through song and through prayer. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Our forefathers suffered during slavery, but they were able to make it through song and prayer. Yeah. Oh, some of us, they sang songs like this. I'm going to take you way back. Yeah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Some of us sing songs like they said, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for the carry thee home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for the carry thee home. Oh, they realize they're working so hard. They know that somebody's going to take them home one of these little days. Oh, and then again and again, they, 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 every now and then they want to get together and tell everybody where they're going to meet. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Then they get together and say, let's go down by the river. Yeah. Well, praise the name of the Lord. And that was that spiritual song, they did, that slave song, and that weapon song, they did all the factors for American Civil War. Yeah. About let's go down by the river. And as they work in the top field and out uh, in that bag, who y'all had tobacco down here? Anyway, they're working out and hard in that field. They then they sing a song and say, Up above my head, I hear music in the air. I really don't believe, do believe that what? There's a God somewhere. Well, praise the name of God. I'm talking about how what God was this. And look up in the air. will be by their side. When our forefathers tried to get through, they tried to move from south to north. And they had to go through some rivers and waters and they had dogs on the trail. Can I get a witness? Yeah. They realized that they, they can get through waters. They, 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 they can get from North Carolina to South Carolina. Can I get a witness? Yeah. So a lot of the courage of folks along, they start singing the song. They say, Way in the water. Way in the water, children. Way in the water. God gonna scrub up the water. God is gonna build this shack. God is gonna see them through. Can I get a witness? That's what I'm saying. How they communicate with one another. How they pray with one another. Around about 1959, 1960. Of the civil rights movement, God put us together. We were able to hold hands together, and then we saw the sound. We shall overcome. We shall overcome.
promises. That's why I'm exalted in you on this Black History Month. More like chapter is it? Keep on praying in a strange land. While we are still living in a strange land, we must realize that we are fighting against the spiritual warfare. Can I get a little bit? Warfare we are fighting against the, and Jesus is the commander in chief. Therefore, we got to put on what? The whole armor of God. Amen. God is able to see us through. He is the head of the battle that we are fighting now. We're not fighting against Trump up there. We're not fighting against Trump, the man himself. But we're fighting against principle in, in high places. We're fighting against racism. We're fighting against prejudice. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Therefore, if we get God on our side, yeah. God will give you the ability to move forward. Can I get a witness? We serve an awesome God and we serve a man of God. Amen. I promise you, I believe I promise you, I'm not going to be with you too long. I'm going to get a witness. But as we look closely at our text, we'll praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We're going to see a young man who left his home in Babylon. Amen. And he went to a strange land Amen. in Babylon. Can I get a witness? Amen. And according to Daniel, the 6th chapter, 10th verse through the 11th verse, we're going to observe this great man in the prophet, which Daniel itself, who lived in a straight land. As a matter of fact, Daniel lived in Babylon under the leadership of King Nebuchadnezzar yeah. and King Darius. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And Daniel was about 80 years old. Oh, yeah. and I don't see no 80 years old man in any day, but y'all can know what an 80 year person looks like. Can I get a witness? Yeah. He's 80 years old, walking over and hardly walk. Daniel was working in a strange land. Can I get a witness? Daniel was working down in Babylon. Can I get a witness? And I want you to know that down in Babylon, there was a people who were paganism, people who, who, who didn't like Daniel. I declare, if you work in a strange land, you're going to find some people who don't like you. Can I get a witness? But Daniel had God on his side. He had the Spirit of the Lord on the inside. And I declare, if you put the Spirit of the Lord on the inside of you, God will see you through. I don't care what, what's going on in your life. We are living in a strange land. Daniel kept his eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get a little inside? Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar took his whole people together and divided the whole tribe up into a hundred and twenty people. He took out, took out three leaders. Daniel was one leader. He had two other princes. Can you look at this? They were all down in Babylon. But Daniel kept on praying in a strange land. Daniel did his work in a strange land. He did what King Manasseh told him what to do. He did exactly what his boss told him to do. He, and I want us to do the same thing. When your boss tells you to do something, Yeah. 